Welcome Spartans to Halo Book Club, part of Evolve, home, your home for Halo. Uh, Halo Book Club goes beyond the video games and covers the extended media, lore from the novels, short stories, comic books and more when we have them. Uh, I'm your host today David and joining me is the lovely Aaron. Ooh, lovely Aaron, thank you. Yes, lovely, lovely. Um, today we're doing What Remains, which is from Fractures. Uh, this might be our last one from Fractures. Or is there... it not? Is there one or two more? No, the only thing left is the like unnamed tiny little short bit at the very oh, end. Yes. Yes, that's yes, it. Yes. So it's not yeah, technically thing. a story, but it's a thing and we'll cover it. But that's it. We cool. are, this is then it. We done. are done fractures. We are done with fractures and the books, which is crazy. Um, before we get started, there's some social stuff for you. If you're new to the show, welcome. So Halo Book Club is part of Evolve, like I mentioned. Uh, we have a whole other host of Halo shows. Um, so we've our normal evolved. We have Mission Debrief, Build of Blocks, Pro Talk, Halo TV Plus, and Halo Headlines. We've got lots of stuff in there. Um, if you'd like to learn more about each show, we have our website, which is evolvedhalo.com, also halopodcast.com, which is very exciting. Uh, if you're new, or if you're a fan of the show, please do rate us and leave us a review. We like all of our feedback and try to improve as much as we can. Um, also, I want to take this moment to thank our patrons. Um, you guys are amazing. Like I always say, you help us keep this thing going, trucking along. Um, so thank you all so much. If you're not subscribed and want to, our patrons get a bunch of exclusive rewards. They get early episodes, they get unique swag, they get access to our soundtrack. That's right, we have our own soundtrack. Uh, we have a newest reward. It was an exclusive podcast show called I Would Have Been Your Podcast. Um, so you can head over to patreon.com slash Halo Evolve to learn more. Um, our audibletrial.com slash podcast evolve if you want to learn more and start a free trial. So Aaron, I know you use this quite regularly. So, what do, are you listening to anything at the moment, Aaron? The last audiobook I listened to was Sabriel, which Ooh. was quite good. It's narrated by Tim Curry. Oh, cool! Yeah, it's a Garth next novel fantasy. Quite good. Uh, listen to it. It wasn't even on recommendation from a friend. She just said, oh, I'm listening to this audiobook and it's narrated by Tim Curry and that's all I heard and it was downloading in my queue. She was like, I haven't told you about the book. I was like, I don't care. It's Tim Curry. I'm going to listen to the man read me a novel. So it was quite good. I enjoyed it. Um, I, I now need, I'm going to need a new book to go on to. I listened to the first three Gears of War novels because they haven't been available on Audible here for quite some time. The last two, uh, Karen Travis wrote five novels for Halo altogether, but the last two Karen Travis novels aren't available on it yet. So I don't know if they're, I think they may be re-recording them because I think the narrator for the first three novels is the one that read or that did all the new Gears novels. So I assume they've had to re-record them or do something because I know that there were all the books, they did exist. Are they still trucking along with Gears novels? Is that st- are they yeah, still they, they started doing new novels when the new games started to come out. So there's, hmm. I think, that when I looked, there's only like a five or six available on Audible. But when I clicked into one of them, it was like book nine of the Gears series. So they've been going for a while. That might be like our next book club. We may have to like dip into another universe because there's far more there now. That's cool. But the Karen Travis books are quite good. They're worth a read. If you want it in steroid meathead soldiers to have like emotional backstory go read the gears novels Ooh. surprise yourself why wouldn't you that's cool uh but today's book club everybody is like we mentioned the halo fraction of what remains so aaron do you want to take us through some of the, the details here yeah we can cover some of the bits and pieces so like we said the title it's from halo fractures it's what remains the author is morgan lockhart a former 343 employee the publisher was Gallery Books. It's available in the usual physical, digital, and audiobook. It was released on the 20th of September 2016, which is now Damn. seven years ago almost. That's crazy, man. I think that was our last anthology collection. I Yeah, I was kind of hoping we might have got another one by then, but it yeah. seems like the short stories are just dropping on Waypoint now randomly because we've had as part of the yeah we've had two this last while so um yeah it would be nice if we got a few more uh it is about sure. 25 minutes in audiobook form i'm not sure how long that is page wise but i'm gonna guess maybe 30 it's to 40 short. would that would yeah it maybe that a little long? bit more 
yeah i don't know see i have it i have it in them as ebook so it's not in like real pages but it's not big it's very it's a very short yeah short it's work. quite short and concise uh the little summary i pulled online is what remains is one of several stories in halo fractures it follows evelyn collins as she and others try to survive on Meridian's glass service or glass surface after the Guardian disabled the majority of their technology. So this is post Halo 5 Guardians. These are the poor saps left behind after Osiris bails out. The timeline is this takes place October 25th, 2558. It's on Meridian, as we said. There are four characters, only three of them have speaking roles. One of them is definitely the red shirt in this scenario. So there's Evelyn Collins, she's a human who survived the covenant glassing of Meridian and has then taken up a job with uh, Lang Dortmund to dig the planet back out. We have Dr. Kale, we don't really get much background on her. Uh, We have Marcus, who's a station technician. He's described as being deceptively boyish looking and has two broken legs and a concussion and then we have a uh, fan who is in a coma and that's the height of his contribution to this story there you go so it's not a terribly long story it kicks off it starts with evelyn she is calling for help at around the base of the station just as the guardian like slips spaces out and everything goes sort of kaboom because as we know from Halo 2 and ODST, slip space events in atmosphere are not good for everyone left behind. Pretty devastating. Yes, and the Guardians make quite a spectacular exit when they go. So she's now stuck on the surface of this glass planet. Um, I think she like finds a, an emergency flare and she's like moving through the debris looking for shelter and she goes oh i know i'll go to the infirmary which we have seen because that's all we'll part of there. that like it's the little hub level you know the yeah. mini hub levels the one where you land on meridian with a pelican you can walk around like the medical area because i believe dr gale is a character there with a couple of like audio I dialogue so, options yeah. yeah there's a this story is interesting enough and because i didn't realize the connection that morgan had to 343 but um this is this does like flesh out other audio logs that take place on that little hub yes hub area, there, there's uh, a, filled in these characters there's a couple of audio logs with evelyn in them so you have those i believe there's a couple of audio logs for uh dr keel as well and then that's it you get to move around like this little area with the it's the area with like the sort of like outdoor mobile portable office things you land the pelican over at the end so that's where this is all taking place. So she goes to the infirmary, finds Dr. Kale and Marquez and Fan. Fan's at a coma. Marquez is lying on the bed. He's in a pretty bad way, but he's chipper would be the best way to describe it. And then they're trying to come up with a plan to survive. So Evelyn and Kale go out and look for supplies. They find a stash of food and stuff. They bring it back and then... Uh, Evelyn's like, oh, we only have a short window to possibly attract the attention of rescue ships or people evacuating the planet, so we need a radio. And she asks Marquez, he's like, you're you're the st- station technician, can you make us a radio? And he basically says, yeah, if you can find the right component parts, there's a very small chance I can make a radio. And then there's also a dust storm coming in, so... Kale and Collins have like a little bit of a disagreement where Kale's like, if we don't prepare for the dust storm, we're not going to survive. And Evelyn basically says, well, if we don't try to get help, we'll run out of supplies eventually because we can't survive on this planet otherwise. Yeah. Evelyn goes off, hunts out as many supplies as she can, gets them back to the infirmary just in time. And then Marquez does his MacGyver thing and builds a radio. Yay. Yep, and he sends out a distress call, and she's like, when, when are we going to hear back from someone? He's like, I don't know. He's like, it's just like we send it out there and we see what happens. We don't even know if it actually sent. And then they receive Cortana's transmission from like the end of Halo 5. So when you're running through um, 
to try and get to the cryptum to rescue blue team and you hear cortana's message to the galaxy that's what these guys are hearing in the infirmary at the same time so it's coming through on their little radio so cortana does her whole bit about you know those that uh i forget the exact word yeah those who submit will be saved and everyone else that resists will regret it blah 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 and then evelyn's like send her a message now tell her we're here so i think marcus sends something like the the people of meridian hear your call and need your help basically and then she responds and says yeah i've heard you and that's sort of where the story's left off they're sitting in the infirmary waiting for cortana and the created to come and hopefully rescue them cool and that's kind of it yeah that's it Short and sweet it's not a bad story like it's it just like you said it's one of those ones that fleshes out a little bit more of the detail around Halo 5. Yeah, it's cool like that. I like that. That they have these stories that tied in. I mean, even if there's nothing really much to it as its own story, it, it, it's kind of interesting that they did make stories to tie into these characters in the games and at least give you a little bit more. And it's kind of half interesting because like, you like devastate these planets and move on. You never really think about what you leave behind. So I, I think it is interesting from a short story perspective to take a, a small look at these people that are in misery because of the <laughs> because of the actions of the characters in the games. Yeah, and there is a quote from I'm going to try and find it here. Uh Lockhart the author actually has a quote on wait here it is on waypoint. Uh, I have always been interested in the little people who are caught up in the big events and whose stories are not usually told. Evelyn was a character I created on Meridian to show some of the effects in game. You can find her in audio logs as well as some level VO and I wanted to tell more of her story. So it's very much a case of the author likes the little people. And it's it's nice. Like it's it's always good to get a story that isn't the guy saving the universe. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think there are some That's of the true. better stories. It doesn't stories. always have to be an action yeah. action story. Well it doesn't always have to be like saving the world. It's kinda like um the Mona Lisa and all that. Like no one in the Mona Lisa is saving the galaxy. They're just out there trying to survive. You know, it's those sorts of stories that are I think sometimes the cooler overlooked stories in Halo. Yeah. Now I wouldn't describe this story me maybe as like cool, because there is essentially like nothing really that happens, but it is interesting. Yeah. Of like these and the fact that Cortana responds is kind of inter- is probably one of the most interesting fast facets of it that she's aware of these people and yeah like she's she's sure. responding to these people while she's also fighting blue or Osiris like she's doing bo- yeah. on Genesis she's doing all these things at the same time like it's the the spread of the AI so it's like it's not a bad wee story it's just short and sweet it gives you a little bit more background that, yes, there's people left behind and this is the shit they're having to do to survive. Yeah. Uh, we've got a couple of little bits of trivia here. Do you want to bounce through these? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll take the first one. Right? So, um, Lindsay Morgan Lockhart, the author, was formerly a narrative designer at 343 Industries. We've heard of them. Uh, before joining Microsoft Studios in 2012, she worked at Sigil, uh, Sigil Games. Uh, Sony Online Entertainment, which is now day, a Daybreak game company, Otai and Trion Worlds. I'm not familiar with these. Uh, having helped the games EverQuest 2, out oh, everywhere, that's why, and Rift. Um, three for three industries, she helped to launch Halo 4 and to develop Halo 5 Guardians. In Halo 5 Guardians, she is known to have written portions of the background narrative on the levels that are Meridian, uh, as we've mentioned, audio logs and voiceovers, which makes sense. Um, in November 2016, she left three for three. And went to work as a freelance writer and a narrative designer at Bear Tree Studios. So that's kind of cool. So it's interesting that someone is doing like the narrative kind of stuff as a game. Got a chance to write a little short story and flesh out more of our characters. Yeah, I feel like... I suppose actually this is essentially what they're doing now at 343. Where you're getting short stories on Waypoint in the universe. Whereas before they would have been in a collection like Fractures. And now they're just published on the website. So... I suppose it's cool to see that it still happens. It's nice to see these yeah. writers get to sink their teeth into something a bit juicier than an audio log. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the only other little bit of trivia on 
Uh, Halopedia was that Lockhart Medical Station from Halo Initiation is named in reference to Morgan Lockhart. So that's cool. Yeah, those were the, the only wee bits. There's not a there's not a ton of trivia on way on Halopedia for a lot of the newer Halo content. Yeah, but the, I don't. In the short, in the story, this short, I wouldn't expect her to be too much anyway. Um, overall, but the, those are interesting facts of knowledge. Yes. Um. Okay, let's let's wrap it up. I don't really have anything else to say about no, this. No, it's, it's it's all been good. It's a pretty solid, not terrible story, and it's probably the same for a lot of the short stories in Halo. I suppose not every single one of them can be uh, the the life and death of Preston Cole. That's true. An epic tale. Uh, so thank you everyone for joining us. Um, like we mentioned top of the show, you can find all of our episode on Evolve's website, which is evolvedhalo.com or halopodcast.com. Uh, it also features our links to our Discord server, Facebook group, Patreon page, Xbox Live Club, and other contact information, should you wish to know more. Once again, special shout out to our patrons. Thank you very much for your support, guys. Um, if you want to learn more about Patreon, go check it out, patreon.com slash halopodcastevolve to learn more. Um, and finally, if you want to leave us a voicemail, we do have this technology. Um, please do. You can call us on 205 Evolve. That's 205 386 5833. There you go. And with that, I've been your host, David. And until next time, Evolve. Evolved. Evolved.